after you have imported your Excel file into SPSS, the next step is to assign value labels to the numbers that you have coded previously. Please keep in mind that SPSS has two view modes, data view and variable view. You can make changes to your variables by going to the variable view. Here, you can see all the variables that we have imported. We have age, status, and confidence variables. First, let's adjust the name column so that we can see the full names. You can do it by clicking on the column and dragging its border to the right or left. It seems that the confidence variable is not properly named. Let's change it. Click on the variable and type in the correct name. Let's add the value labels for the status and confidence variables. Let's begin with status. Previously, we assigned 1 for part-time student and 2 for full-time student. If you click on the value cell, you will be asked for value and label. For value, enter 1. For label, enter part-time student. Click add. Next, enter 2 for value and full-time student for label. Click add. You can see from the list here that now we have two values label. Click OK. If you did your value labeling correctly, if you go to the data view and click value labels, the numbers will change to the labels that we assigned earlier. Let's do value labeling for the confidence variable. Click values and remember that we assign one for strongly disagree, two for somewhat disagree and so on. So let's enter one for values and strongly disagree for the label. Click add. And lastly, five for the value, strongly agree for the label. We have just given labels to the numbers one to five for the confidence variable. Let's check by going to the data view, click value labels, if you see the same results on your data, congratulations, it's very easy, right?